5 Toxic Behaviors That Are Used With Bad Intentions Welcome to Psychology Tree. We're here to explore the fascinating world of human psychology. Subscribe to unlock the secrets of the mind with us. In interpersonal relationships, certain behaviors can become potent weapons when wielded with harmful motives. These five toxic behaviors, when driven by ill intentions, can inflict emotional and psychological harm, undermine trust, and create rifts between individuals. Recognizing these destructive actions is the first step towards safeguarding ourselves from manipulation and fostering healthier, more harmonious connections. Number 1. Belittling. Belittling is a toxic behavior where someone undermines another person's self-esteem or worth. It can involve constantly criticizing their abilities, appearance, or achievements, which can have long-lasting negative effects on the victim's self-confidence. The act of belittling not only damages the victim's self-esteem, but it also diminishes their sense of value and worth, creating an environment where their talents and contributions are consistently invalidated or disregarded. The long-lasting effects of belittling can extend beyond the immediate impact on self-confidence, as it can erode one's belief in their abilities and potential, hindering personal growth and limiting their willingness to take risks or pursue their goals. Number 2. Microaggressions. Microaggressions are subtle, often unintentional actions or comments that convey discriminatory or biased attitudes toward marginalized individuals or groups. They can perpetuate stereotypes and contribute to a hostile or exclusionary environment. The impact of microaggressions goes beyond their individual occurrence, as they accumulate over time, resulting in a cumulative effect of marginalization, invalidation, and psychological distress for those on the receiving end. Addressing and challenging microaggressions is crucial for creating inclusive and respectful spaces, as it requires a commitment to understanding and actively dismantling the underlying biases and stereotypes that contribute to these subtle forms of discrimination. Number 3. Toxic Competition. Toxic competition involves engaging in cutthroat or ruthless behavior to outdo others, often at the expense of their well-being. It prioritizes winning at any cost, fostering a hostile environment and damaging relationships. Toxic competition creates an environment where individuals prioritize their own success above all else, leading to a lack of empathy and disregard for the well-being of others, resulting in strained relationships and a toxic atmosphere of hostility and mistrust. Engaging in cutthroat or ruthless behavior in the pursuit of winning can have far-reaching consequences, as it undermines collaboration, teamwork, and mutual support, hindering personal and collective growth while perpetuating a culture of aggression and isolation. Number 4. Excessive Control. Excessive control is a toxic behavior where someone attempts to exert dominance or authority over others by dictating their actions, choices, or relationships. It infringes upon personal autonomy and can lead to feelings of resentment and powerlessness. Excessive control undermines personal autonomy and freedom, as it disregards the individual's right to make their own choices and decisions, effectively eroding their sense of independence and self-determination. The consequences of excessive control can be damaging, as it fosters feelings of resentment, powerlessness, and a loss of self-confidence, ultimately straining relationships and stifling personal growth and fulfillment. Number 5. Gossiping. Gossiping refers to engaging in conversations that spread rumors or talk negatively about others behind their backs. It can damage relationships, erode trust, and create a toxic environment of mistrust and insecurity. Gossiping not only harms the individuals being talked about but also has a destructive impact on the overall social dynamics within a group or community, as it breeds an atmosphere of suspicion, fear, and anxiety. The toxic environment created by gossiping inhibits open and honest communication, as individuals become guarded and hesitant to share personal information or engage in genuine interactions, leading to strained relationships and a lack of authentic connection. In the complex web of human interactions, identifying and understanding these toxic behaviors is not merely an exercise in awareness. It is a means to safeguard one's well-being and the quality of relationships. By shining a light on these harmful tactics, we hope to empower individuals to recognize and resist manipulation, protect their emotional and mental health, and, in doing so, cultivate more genuine and wholesome connections with others. Ultimately, our collective awareness of these destructive behaviors can serve as a vital force in countering their negative impact, fostering empathy, and promoting a culture of respect and kindness in our interactions. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please let me know in the comments below.
and if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on any new content.